So we want to create a recurring bill for either Sage 50 or Sage 200. Click on recurring bill. It's a new one. So we're going to go add. It's going to be we're supplying the internet here. So that's just an internal reference. Let's go and get the customer. Hit the search, find Edward Stewart. I want it to start today, they're going to go live today. I'm not going to select an end date, that means it's going to continue to bill. And the next process date is today. It's a monthly bill, but I could change that if I wanted to to quarterly or whatever it might be. And it's going to end up being an invoice and it's going to be posted straight to Ledger. That's all I really need to worry about. Let's go and add the actual item. I know it starts with IN. And that's it there, the internet. And it's pulled all the information across for me. I need to select it for one. But what I wanted to do is I want to make it very clear what date it's to cover. So I can take it from, and I want it to be the process date, the same process date every time it bills. So what I can do here is it's the process date, and it's in a long format and that should give me from the 21st of March 2012 as you can see we've got a help here so you can select any variety from uh, a group of variants and two what I want to do is I want to add a month to this so plus M01 but that would be wrong because it's going to take a whole month for so I need to take one day off so minus D01 and as you'll see that will take it one month forward and one day back so to the 20th of April click OK that's looking good. Nothing more to add. Save. There's a recurring monthly bill that will arrive in Sage the second I hit this process button.